Hello and welcome to episode number seven of the Mass Effect 2 Let's Play. Um, in the last episode we recruited the scientist Morden Solus, the professor, as this dossier calls him, and we got Zed. Um, in this one we're going to do a bit of a deep dive into the Citadel. Um, we are supposed to go there to see Anderson and Udina and talk to the council and shit like that. Um, so yeah, we're going to go there, do that, we're going to have a little tour of the Citadel. And then we will crack on in the next episode with... I think we're going to go get Jack or Grunt next, instead of Archangel. Uh, but this is the Citadel, it is the seat of power of the council, it is the central hub of the universe, basically. Um, all of the races meet here, it's where all the diplomatic places are, all of the politics of the universe is carried out here. Um, so as you'd expect, it's a shithole. But it's beautiful. For the purposes of this mission, we are going to take Morden, just because I like Mr. Solus, and Miranda, because she's pretty to look at. Alright, Cerberus Officer, by that rank, Morden has six points, so three, you can probably get three points in that, but I really like Cryoblast, I think it's a cool as hell thing. Neural shocks are really good on as well, but you have to unlock that by getting Max Insularian Scientist. Um, so that increases ex his incinerate, his, gives him Cryoblast, which freezes things, and Solarian Scientist gives him health, weapon damage, and shield, so it basically just makes him tankier. Um, I can't level up anything else, but I got Barrier as another special, so now I have... Um, Geth shield thing and barrier, so I should be tankier than Jesus. Um, yeah, let's just go. <gasps> I love this. <laughs> <You should. laughs> Everyone should listen to this. It's a gunnery chief talking to two recruits. Adapted to 
work in Citadel. Couldn't survive outside. Unknown purpose. Wish I could have studied them. Had other things to do instead. I wish you would have studied them. Um, can I help you, sir? It's been a couple of years since I passed through here. Security seems to have tightened a bit. After the Geth attack, there was a review of security protocol. A few minor changes were made to reduce the risk of Geth infiltration. We apologize for the inconvenience. Thanks for your time. Next. Alrighty. Obviously, security has tightened since you were last here. Shut it down. What? Do you seriously think? Yeah, okay. Sorry for the inconvenience, sir. Our scanners are picking up false readings. They seem to think you're dead. I was listed as missing in action a couple of years ago. Would you mind checking in with my captain? He can reinstate you in our system. He's just past the scanners on your right. You'll have to make him scream a little. He's not going to tell you everything just because you asked. I, I know, sir. If you don't have the stomach or you're worried about being reported, I can take care of it. No, sir. I can handle it. Yes, I see the problem already, Commander Shepard. My consul says you're dead. Are you not worried I'm some imposter claiming to be me? We have the best screening equipment in the galaxy. Those scanners can sample DNA from skin flakes. Hell, if you have unregistered gene mods, they can even figure those out. Your sergeant said you could help with that. Usually, you'd have to go through the station security administration to reactivate your IDs. Then to customs and immigration to regain access to the Citadel itself, and probably a stop by the Treasury. Spending a year dead is a popular tax dodge. But I can see you're a busy man. So how about I just press this button right here, and we call it done. Couldn't one of us, or both of us, get into trouble for that? There's no way to fool the DNA scanners in that tunnel. You're you. Why wait in long lines and fill out a mass of useless hard copy paperwork to get to the same place? The Council does everything by the book. They've had thousands of years to write it. Sometimes things need to get done without a committee vote. That'd be great. Done. You're good to go. You should head up to the Presidium, though. The Council would probably like to know that one of their lost Spectres is still kicking. I will. Having access to the Council and the Spectres' resources would be useful. Yeah. The Council can get anything. Best thing about working CSEC is that any equipment, information, or money you need, you get. Anyway, something else you need? Or can I get back to work? I should be going. Yeah, you play better. anything else, let me know. Need such a strong word. Welcome to Citadel Newsnet. I'm Emily Wong. Officials in the Systems Alliance. Good day, my friends. Welcome to the Citadel. Since these stores are owned by the council, the government. Yes, in fact. Uh, what's I'm a position? former Spectre. My goodness. I didn't know Spectres quit. How about if I throw in an endorsement from the man who defeated Sarah? You are Shepard? My goodness. The increase in sales would certainly be worth offering a discount. Do this in every store. <laughs> Just voice your endorsement into my console. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. Excellent. I will get my clerical VI to add it to our advertising immediately. Space hamster. Pets for my bedroom, basically. Got some fish. I got a model of Normandy. Oh, that Destiny Ascension is so pretty. So do you want to get one of the fish, or maybe a model ship? How is a model ship supposed to remind me of the Citadel? It's festive, and you like ships. I'm an engineer, honey. I look at ships all day. <laughs> no, here they go. I heard that those lakes up on the Presidium are filled with fish. No, they're not. You ever been up there? No. CSEC won't let me. They say I'm a risk. Uh, they think every Krogan is dangerous. Damn Turians. We should kill them all. Yeah. Anybody wonder why you think you're dangerous, maybe? Maybe it's your penchant for, you know, 
resorting straight to murder. Mm. All right, we're heading down. She stole your credit chip? She must have. When I left the Serta Foundation store, she ran right into me. Are you sure you didn't leave your chip at the Serta Foundation? Of course not. You'd think I'd make a mistake like that. I didn't even buy anything there. That chip stayed in my pocket. How does running India mean she stole your credit chip? That's how pickpockets work. They bump into you, and use that as a cover for rifling your pockets. You can't turn your back on these clanless quarians. Thieves. All of them. You say you're falsely accused? I was walking to the used ship dealer when he barged into me outside the Serta Foundation. He didn't stop or say he was sorry. A minute later, he runs up with c -Sec and accuses me of stealing his damn chip. Do you spend a lot of time at the used ship dealer? Yeah. They've got a lot of nice models. I'd like to buy one and take it back to the fleet, but... A ship would make a great pilgrimage gift. Do you know about the pilgrimage? I traveled with a quarian who was on hers. I... Wow. I didn't know anyone here would do that for one of us. Do you know who's telling the truth? My Omni tool can tell the Quarian doesn't have a chit on her. She could have stashed it to recover later. You know what Quarians are like. <laughs> She's definitely a vagrant. I'll run her in and see what Bailey wants to do with her. I'll see if I can find out what happened. Sir, this is a... We'll do all we, <coughs> all we can to resolve this. We don't need civilian Let's go. Be careful out there. No, oh, but you do need civilian help. Because you're shit. It's not a site of foundation, is it? There's a bolus outside who lost his credit chip. Did you happen to see him drop it anywhere? I don't recall any other Vol clan entering my showroom today. Just that migrant clan girl putting her fingers all over the brochures again. Sort of foundation, sort of foundation, sort of foundation. It's around this corner, I believe. Sort of. There we go. Doom, doom, doom. Good day, citizen. Welcome to the... A bowl is... And not that I saw. With respect... You know, an endorsement from the oh man... Oh, my! You it's a deal. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll work Give me the discount. Um... Yeah, why not? This looks interesting. Health by ten. Take it. What do you accept your gift. Where the I felt her hand go into my pocket when I checked. Maybe, so it, maybe it is actually in Saronis then. Yeah. The dude. The fucker. This guy. Welcome to Saronis Apple. Do I know you? No, but I know yeah, you. Yeah, I've been getting that a lot. Please, look around the store. You know, I use quite a bit of it. You wouldn't believe it. <laughs> oh, you know, I like I'd be stuff. thrilled. Don't worry about it. Absolutely. I'm Commander Shepard. Every it. store is my favorite <laughs> store on the shit. <laughs> Can't afford it anymore. Ah, my favorite customer. Oh, what can I get? Fuck's sake. I'll Pack. be here if you need anything. Let's click the card. Ah, my favorite Oh my god, I've done it again. Okay. Let's just stop spam clicking. I'll be here if you need anything. Ah, my favorite customer. What can I get you? A bolus was in here not too long ago. Oh, yes. I didn't notice he'd left until he was. If you see him, tell him I have it here behind the counter. Thanks for your time. I'll be here if you need anything. Alright. So. That was the most convoluted shit I've ever had to do, but we got there. You know, we 
Please move along. You forgot your credit chit at Serona's application. The clerk is holding it for you. Oh. Well. The Quarian could have stolen it. I'll close his event report, but I'll be watching you. Get a permanent residence, or I'll run you in for vagrancy. Are you too serious? What? You falsely accused this girl of stealing from you. All you have to say now is that she could have stolen it. Now, just a minute. And you? She gets harassed and insulted by this guy, and you throw in a threat to arrest her for vagrancy? How about if I run you in for obstruction of justice? You think you're gonna run in a former specter? I think both of you should get out of here. Oh, son of a... Thank you. <coughs> I... I wish I could give you something more than words. Can you take care of yourself from here? I guess. I mean, most nights I eat nutrient paste in the Turian shelter. But I'm surviving. Thanks. <laughs> right, so basically the whole station is just loads of little side missions like this. Okay, back up the stairs as we go. I mean there's there's tons more to the citadel and we will revisit it in the future in future episodes, not you know not time travelling, but Ah Zakira Cafe. I hear this is the best place for food on Zakira Ward. High grade provisions, that's for Reaper. No, a couple of novels, why not? You heard wrong. This is the best place for food on the whole damn city. That's Bailey, he's bullshit. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. <laughs> Shepherd and the Shepherd, the one that put down Saren Arterius. Oh, you do know me. By the spirits, <laughs> Shepherd, in my store. <laughs> I don't suppose I could convince you to record an advertisement for me. Sure, you could. Can we work out a discount? A discount? I'd name my firstborn after you if you ask. Can we record it now? Just speak towards my console. I'm Commander Shepherd, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. <laughs> No other gun shop has that kind of endorsement. <laughs> Every shop has that kind of endorsement. Spare ammo capacity by 10%. We don't really have the credits to buy all the all of the shiny things that I'd like to buy. Have you tried Galaxy of Fantasy yet? I love that game. Oh, here she is, this fucking bitch. The people want to hear your story, Shepard. Yeah? Okay. Police have been seen in Algerani, Westerland News. I interviewed you two years ago when you first became a specter. You presented your case very well on camera. Do you have a minute? You spent the whole time trying to make me look like I was selling out Earth to the council. You proved me wrong in the end. Now that you've resurfaced, you're news again. I just want to give your story its due. Sources claim you were at the heart of the Presidium during the Battle of the Citadel. It's fair to say the course of the battle hinged on your words. If true, you told Admiral Hackett to assist the Destiny Ascension, costing hundreds of human lives. 
and securing the continued dominance of the Citadel Council. The Turians lost 20 cruisers. Figure each had a crew around 300. The Ascension, the Asari Dreadnought we saved, had a crew of nearly 10,000. But surely the human cost. The Alliance lost eight cruisers. Chen Yang, Emden, Jakarta, Cairo, Seoul, Cape Town, Warsaw, Madrid. And yes, I remembered them all. Everyone in the Fifth Fleet is a hero. The Alliance owes them all medal. The Council owes them a lot more than that. And so do you. <laughs> Commander Shepard, first human sector. Hero of the Battle of the Citadel. Check bid. Do we get it? Great. Bull rushed on my own show. <laughs> get wrecked, you fucking skunk. <laughs> like it. You were recently dead. Here, have a shiny new coat. As if that solves all of life's problems. Ah, this guy, Presidium Fish. Then I can do for you. I noticed you're one of the groundskeepers for the Presidium. Do you know if there are fish in the lake? I get that question a lot. I think it's right behind. Where's the restroom? Those are reservoirs. The Presidium's own supply, independent from the water storage tanks in the wards. The only place I know of on the station to get a live fish is the Leosanese's gift shop. When I pour a glass of water, it's the same stuff that tourists throw garbage in? No, they purify it first. If some solarian or human bacteria gets left in, and a Turian or Quarian drinks it, they could die. Everything would be so much simpler if we all had the same DNA. But no, the universe loves diversity. Thanks for your time. No problem. If you get up to the Presidium, check out the Demile flowers across from the conduit. They're coming in very nicely. Looking for a little R and R, Shepard? It's a nice enough place. A lot nicer than Cora's den, anyway. I wasn't sorry to hear they never reopened after the Geth attack. I don't know, Miranda. Are you offering me some R and R? Are we gonna do it? Are we gonna do it? We're gonna do it. Out my neck. <laughs> Less dancing. Oh wow, wow, that actually did hurt my neck. I pulled a muscle. <laughs> oh, that's not fucking good at all. That. Palavan, Turian homeworld. Okay, let's fast travel to the... Pr oh, wait, I've got to go down, all right. All right. Oh, shut up. All right, let's go down and talk to the Krogan. Yeah, you're welcome. All right, let's talk to these guys. What do you want? I talked to one of the Presidium groundskeepers. What? I told you. Why have all that water if you're not going to store something to eat in it? I don't understand aliens at all. Thanks for telling me. It's all he's talked about all damn day. <laughs> all right. Let's go to the Presidium. Talk to Anthem. Udina and the Council. This meeting would be more productive if Udina was to join us. Councillor Udina isn't available. But as his top advisor, I speak with his full authority and approval. Shepard will be here and... Oh, Commander. We were just talking about you. It's been a long time, Anderson. I hope the last couple of years have treated you right. There have been some rough spots. It's good to have you back. We've heard many rumors surrounding your unexpected return. Some of them are unsettling. We called this meeting so you could explain your actions, Shepard. We owe you that much. 
After all, you saved our lives in the battle against Saren and his Geth. Saren wasn't the one commanding the Geth. It was the Reaper, Sovereign. Ah yes, Reapers. The immortal race of sentient starships allegedly waiting in dark space. Uh, we have dismissed that claim. Shepard, no one else encountered the hologram on Ilos that told you the truth about the Reapers. Only you and your crew ever spoke with Sovereign. I believe you. But without evidence from another source, the others think Saren was behind the Geth attacks. Go back to Ilos and talk to Vigil. Or just look at what's left of Sovereign. It's obvious the technology is more advanced than ours. The hologram on Ilos is no longer functional, and we have found nothing to suggest that Sovereign was not a Geth creation. The Geth are capable of remarkable technological achievements. This is probably why Saren recruited them. This Reaper theory proves just how fragile your mental state is. You have been manipulated by Cerberus, and before them, by Saren. I kept Saren from conquering the Citadel. I sacrificed human lives to save this council. We are in a difficult position, Shepard. You are working for Cerberus, an avowed enemy of the council. This is treason, a capital offense. That's too far. Shepard is a hero. If Councilor Udina were here, he wouldn't let this whitewash continue. Maybe there is a compromise, not a public acknowledgement given your ties, but something to show peripheral support. Shepard, if you keep a low profile and restrict your operations to the Terminus systems, the Council is willing to offer you reinstatement as a Spectre. What does that mean? Will I need to start filing reports? That won't be necessary. This is a show of good faith on our part. We cannot become involved in an investigation regarding the missing colonies in the Terminus systems. But Spectre reinstatement shows our support of you personally. I accept your offer. It's good to have the Council on my side. Good luck with your investigation, Shepard. We hope for a quick resolution and a quick end to your relationship with Cerberus. Well, that went better than expected. You realize the Council's offer is just symbolic. They won't actually do anything. Even if they don't help, I might as well stay on good terms. True enough. Don't worry about the Council or the Alliance. I'll find some way to keep them off your back. Shouldn't be too hard. As long as you keep to the terminus systems. Mm, here it comes. We need to talk about Shepard. What are you doing here? Stop by to see how Anderson was doing. You don't have to cover for me. I invited Shepard here to speak with the council. We just finished our meeting. You went to the council behind my back. Do the words political shitstorm mean anything to you? I'm here because the fate of humanity is at stake. That's what you should care about. All you soldiers think alike. You charge head first into a problem with no regard for the long-term consequences. And going behind my back does nothing to help our position on the Council. Maybe it's time the Alliance found me a new advisor. Anderson took an impossible situation and turned it into a win for both sides. You can say you knew all along. Or you can explain to the Alliance how you want to replace me for doing your job. You don't leave me much choice, but I know this game. I'll tell the other counselors I'm on board. Better hurry. Fickle bunch. Quick to forget their friends. Goodbye, Shepard. I hope you'll go back to the Terminus systems soon. It would be better for all concerned. <laughs> Udina's such a dick. As bad as Udina was before, he's ten times worse now that he's part of the Council. Better him than me, though. And he's done a good job promoting Alliance interests with the Citadel. You haven't forgotten how you got here. The rest of them, they're buried in procedure. Some of that is necessary. This place, the scale level, doesn't hit you even when you're standing in it. But crack the files on interspecies relations, there's no end. We don't need an outside threat, Shepard. The balance here seems like it's fragile enough. I'm surprised no one can tell Sovereign isn't Geth technology. Didn't they examine the wreckage? We don't have much to look at. Pieces have been rained all over the station. It was chaos, with who knows how many species combing the wards for their dead. 
We secured as much of it as we could, but between the keepers and a whole lot of unauthorized salvage, there's no way to account for even half of that thing. Another reason why they don't want to acknowledge what Sovereign was. How long did it take to get this place back up to speed after the battle? Still counting. The main areas of commerce and the most populated wards are complete, but estimates for total restoration are sitting around five years. The keepers always surprise us, though. It's like our repairs are annoying. We'll put up an ugly new bulkhead, and in a few days, they've made it seamless. We never really thought of them as heavy lifters, and I have no idea where they get the resources. But we'd never get done without them. Last I knew, we were still fighting holdouts. Boom, boom. Well, here and there. But they are increasingly disorganized. It's long since stopped being called a war. More like cleanup. Not that you can ever discount them. But we haven't had serious casualties for months. A civilian ship will spot an enclave and we send in a squad to clear it. They're not quite the boogeyman they used to be. What happened to Gunnery Chief Williams after the Normandy was destroyed? Operations Chief Williams is still with the Alliance, but she's working on a special mission. It's classified. I can't say any more. Not while you're working with Cerberus, I'm sorry. How have the last couple of years treated you? Working for Udina isn't how I plan to spend my twilight years. Sometimes it feels like I'm just beating my head against a wall. Knowing the truth about Sovereign is brutal. It's nightmare stuff. I can't blame others for not wanting to believe it. But I know how important it is. So I keep trying. Fighting the good fight, right? Forget Udina and the Council. Join my crew and help me stop the Collectors. I'm too old to go racing across the galaxy. Much as I complain, I've got an important job to do here. The front line, that's got to be yours. I better go. Of course, Shepard, I understand. I wish I could do more to help you. But if you ever want to talk, I'll be here. Just do me a favor and be careful. You can't trust Cerberus. Can you hear that, Miranda? We can't fucking trust you. Let's go back. All right, so that's pretty much it. Um, so let's go back to the Normandy. We'll give Rupert his um. Sorry, we'll give Mess Chief Gardener his supplies, and we'll give Gabby and um. Ken. Ken Donnelly? Kenneth? Yeah. His shit. And then we'll end the episode there. And we will come back in time to... Well, well, not in time for. But we'll come back when we're going to get our next squad member. Um, so yeah, let's, let's go do this first. Just quite a funny little interaction. Commander, those provisions you provided were perfect. I owe you. I've already thrown together some of my calamari gumbo. Here, try a bite. Truth told, it's based on an Asari recipe. Seems a little cannibalistic to me with their tentacle heads and all, but they ain't no good grub. Anyway, thanks again. You really came through. So he's pleased. Uh, let's go to engineering. Oh, we should probably talk to Zed as well. He's in the one of the rooms at the end. That one over there. Um, yeah, so we'll go talk to Zed as well. I haven't spoken to him since he came on the ship. New armor reinforcements really threw off the gravimetric profile, but engines are good to go. I rebalanced the Gilborn coefficients and adjusted the anterior intakes on the second tier stabilizers. Love it when you talk dirty. You're the best, Commander. We just got those FBA couplings installed. Now we only have to calibrate every week instead of every day. We're thinking about celebrating our newfound free time with some Skillion 5 poker. Want to join us? Come on, Kenneth. A commander doesn't want to play cards with grease monkeys like us. Actually, that sounds interesting. Fantastic. I'll get the cards. My Skillion 5 is a bit rusty. You'll be easy on the rookie, right? Of course, Commander. It's all friendly. Yeah, right.
<laughs> I want 500 credits. Be gentle on the rookie. I can't believe he fell for that. So worth losing to see you taken down a notch. Beat me up my own game. You're all right, Shepard. What can we do for you, Commander? Yeah. Will do, Commander. Okay, let's go find Zed. Zed, my sonny. He's quite a cool guy, Zed. So he's got surveillance going on all over my fucking ship. Oh yeah, that's a model of the Varicon. Turian frigate, hell of a ship. I led a mission to bring that thing down from the inside with just five men and whatever guns we could bring. No chance of success, but we did it. Everyone died. My first impossible mission as an independent contractor. There's been many since, but nothing so goddamn sweet as watching that Turian warship crash planet side. He's got loads of little stories like that when you click on his stuff. Thinking about past missions. Got a minute. You might learn something. Garbage compactor. <laughs> I'm littering in space. Okay, we're going to end this episode here. That's a good place to end it. You know, polluting the whole universe. Why not? Um, and yeah, I will see you in the next episode. Chuck me a like, a subscribe, or some feedback. And um, yeah, I will see you for the next mission. Toodles! Toodles!